And if you're like me, you spend at least 90% of your day in the kitchen. If you saw my Instagram stories last night, you know I was cooking with my daughter. Uh, so if you want it to be functional and look good, and here to show us what's trending and other styles uh, is interior designer Karen Mills. So I, like I was telling you before, I wish I would have done this interview with you about four weeks ago. We just got our cabinets redone, and I want to know oh, if I did nice. it the right way. So what is in for kitchens in 2019? So kitchens in 2019 is some of the things that we've been doing for a while. Okay. Bringing the tile to the ceiling all the way around so it gives it a more dramatic look. When you say tile to the ceiling, are you backsplash talking from tile. Oh, backsplash tile? So not just from the all floor? All the way up. So yeah. we got a nice so picture of So here's a right great here example the... of that. Yeah. Just bringing it all the way up. The other big thing in 2019 is going to be bigger, bolder pattern tiles. So you don't have to do a solid white like mm -hmm. this, but just having it go all the way to the ceiling gives you that rich look. Yeah. It changes everything in the kitchen and it's I, not that much more money. And what 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 are some of the tile designs that you see? I know, I, can't, I don't know what they're called, but I've seen them before and they really do catch the eye and I've seen that same kind of thing with the carpet, especially like in, in hallways and on steps that have the different designs in the carpet. So that's kind of the big thing is to go on those backsplashes from there all the way to the ceiling. And you can create pattern with tile, like a mm -hmm. subway. You can create a chevron or do something else funky. You can have the bold patterned tiles that actually have the pattern imprinted yeah. on them. Okay. But it's all about showing off that backsplash because think about it, when you walk in, Bill, mm -hmm. that's the first thing you see is the backsplash. Oh yeah. No. So it's that's big. Definitely. Well, what's, what's the second trend do you think we're seeing here for this year? Well, a big trend is bigger, bolder colors. Now okay. on the coast, you're going to see lots of bolder cabinetry, you're going to see some dark blues, you're going to see some blacks, mm -hmm. um, not as much stain, but I just give this as an example, something with richer oh, wow. color, right? That's really These are dark. both basement shots, but painted darker colors. So right now we're working on one that's got, have an ink, a dark ink, it's almost a black, but dark mm. moody blues would be really good. If you love white kitchens though, and you're saying, no, I want that white <laughs> cabinetry, yeah. you can still make it work, just bring in the bold accent colors maybe in your chair cushions or some other decor. And what accent color do you think works with a, with a wider kitchen? Because the only reason I ask that is I'm totally being selfish here is because that's what we just painted <laughs> our cabinets, or you know, this, this bright white color. Uh, so should we bring out more like, you know, pinks or reds or we have stainless steel, you know, appliances so how do we pull how do we utilize that color well, in the kitchen then? it depends on you because the third trend is about personalization so oh. what is the color that you and your wife love do you love blue mm -hmm. do you love red do you love orange so for example here on the um, in this room here the personalization one client loved the uh, live edge shelves so we put those in there oh, we yeah. brought the we brought the countertop up on the wall and then this is a client that's actually from Finland so we brought in a little bit of that kind of rustic Finland look. Oh my goodness that looks fantastic. And it's just wonderful because it's showing off their personality it's not your typical white kitchen you thought that yeah. was a white kitchen the green one but it, it really was a, a slight tint of green and then the rustic dark fixtures gave it that kind of rustic country Finland yeah, look. That, well, yeah, that's definitely So what very is cool. your favorite color? What, what color would you have with the white? Well, it could be anything almost. Yeah, I, I don't know what my favorite color, I'm the one asking the questions here now, Karen. <laughs> 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 no, well, what, what are we, is there anything that's kind of gone out of favor then for, for 2019? I mean, it's kind of hard, I think, to steer out of favor, but is there anything that you're just not seeing as much of anymore? Ornate details. Ornate details. If you're doing shelves just to have shelves, then mm -hmm. that's going to die a little bit because open shelving needs to be functional. Okay. We need that storage, okay? Other things that can, are going to be popular, continue to be popular, is hidden storage, mm. right? Being able to hide things away, yeah. even your appliances. You're still going to see that grow, and the kitchen is still becoming part of the rest of the house. So less kitcheny, more part of the great room and the family room. Okay. Well, it is the center of the house, and uh, we've got to make sure it looks nice, right? So yes. that's Karen, and we appreciate your time today. For Thank being you. Here. Thank you so much.